Hello students, welcome to English classes by Piyusa Mishra. This is the second video in the series of lectures for class 12th. We will now start English literature which is called English Core. Now these are the contents of your book Flamingo. Pause the video and have a look at them. Today I am going to teach you first lesson of this book. It is called Last Lesson and it is written by Alphonse Dodded. I strongly recommend you to take notes from these slides. In your own language and handwriting and practice more on writing. Alphonse Dodded He was a French novelist. He was born in 1840 and died at the age of 57. Now let's look at the summary of the chapter. The setup of the story is the blaze which is under the district of Alsace and Lorraine which have been invaded by Germans and they have prohibited the use and teaching of the French language which is their native language. French is a small boy in the story who does not pay much attention to the French language and finds it tough to learn. He is always late to the school and often gets scolded by his teacher M. Hamel. Mr. Hamel have been teaching friends from 40 years in this village. So he has strong emotions attached to this place and the language that he teaches. But with the prohibition imposed, he has to leave this place and has to pack his all things. But before he goes, he takes the last lesson of this language and the feelings associated with this gesture are shown vividly in this lesson. French as usual is late to the classroom and is ready to be scolded. But as soon as he enters in the class, he is not scolded for coming late but is gently sent to his seat. He notices an unusualness in the classroom. He sees changes such as his teacher is wearing the special uniform which he wore only on a special occasion. The blaze elderly people sitting on the back benches and other things which you will find in detail in the text given in the slide. As the story progresses, French realizes it was their last lesson and that henceforth only German would be taught was put up on the bulletin board in the town hall, which he forgot to glance upon. Moving further, Mr. Hamill's behavior is opposite to his normal behavior and he is not cranky that day. He asks friends to recite and when he fails to do so, he doesn't blame him. Instead, he blames himself and friends family. There was a kind of trauma associated with everyone. There is a wave of sadness in the room. Mr. Hamill says French is the most beautiful language and key to their prison. After a while, he sits motionless on his chair. French wonders if they could make the peasants sing in German too. One of the village elderly houser who was sitting at the back also start crying. At last the bell rings and Mr. Hamill has to go. He stand up and want to speak something but cannot speak as something chokes him. Without saying a word, he then writes on the board in French, Bible la France, which can be translated to long live France. After this, he stopped and leaned his head against the wall. Without a word, he made a gesture 
with his hand to indicate that the school was dismissed and they might go now let's come to the question answer the first question is that what are the three things that surprised friends the most were so the answer to this question is the dress worn by his teacher mr hamel second the whole school seemed quite strange and third the blaze people were sitting on the back benches that were usually empty second question is that which word were a thunder clap to friends so students when his teacher told him that henceforth only german would be taught in their classes by a new teacher and that this was their last lesson these words were came as a thunder clap to friends so next question in the series of question is who was watcher what did he ask friends and why how did friends react answer is watcher was a black smith he was reading the latest bulletin he asked friends not to go so fast to his school he added that the little boy would get to his school in plenty of time watcher had read the latest bulletin about uh, teaching german friends thought that the black smith was making a fun of him so he ran to the school and reached there breathlessly next question is the fourth question friends thinks will they make them sing in german even the pigeons what could this mean answer so student the frenchmen were highly patriotic of their nation and language and the fact that it will be prohibited made them feel cut off from their motherland french also had this feeling inculcated in him from birth french did not accept this rule and thought that they can't tame pigeons hence we have rich and varied cultural cultural heritage and we practice it without having to cross out each other's interests so the answer to this question is that yes language can be kept alive even if they are a minority through communal harmony next question what happens to a linguistic minority in a state how do you think they can keep their language alive answer india is very proud of its diversity all the states of the country boast of their own language or dialect and all languages are equally respected all over india the three language formula inbuilt in the system of education ensures that apart from the mother tongue one has the opportunity to learn and appreciate from other languages of the country and the facts that a linguistic minority in any state is not barred from using its own language is a guarantee that the language can be kept alive next question is it possible to carry pride in one's language too far do you know what linguistic chauvinism is answer when pride in one's language makes one intolerant of another's it gets translated into linguistic chauvinism though one must have pride in one's own language one must learn to appreciate and respect other languages as well india has had a glorious tradition of unity in diversity and this has been possible only because of feelings of mutual respect in people for the many languages dialects and traditions that exist in the country
theme of the story what is the reason behind its universal appeal the theme of the story the last lesson is chauvinism of the proud conquerors and the pain that is inflicted on the people of a territory by them by taking away the right to study or speak their own language and thus make them aliens in their own land of birth the story has a sub theme also it highlights the attitudes of the students and teachers to learning and teaching through the story is located in a particular blaze of helsis distress of friends which had passed into prussian hands it has a universal appeal it highlights the efforts of the victors to crush their victims the vanquished people in all possible manners materially spiritually mentally and emotionally taking away mother tongue from the people is the harshest punishment the proper equation between the students and teacher his focused attention helpful and encouraging attitude and kind treatment can encourage students to learn better long answer type question as i have told you in the introduction that such a question you have to answer in 120 150 word limit question is what impression do you form of am hamel on the basis of your study of the story the last lesson answer is am hamel is an experienced teacher who has been teaching in this village village school for 40 years he imparts primary education in all subjects he is a hard talk master and students like friends who are not good learners are in great dread of being scolded by him the latest order of the prussian conquerors upsets him he has to leave the place forever and feels heartbroken he feels sad but exercises self control he has the courage to hear every lesson to the last his performance during the last lesson is exemplary he is kind even to a late comer like friends he uses a solemn and gentle tone while addressing the students he has a logical mind and can analyze problems and deduce the reason responsible for it the problem for elsis is that he the district puts off learning till tomorrow he knows the emotional hold of the language over its users he is good communicator and explains everything patiently partings are painful and being human am hamel is no exception he fails to say goodbye as his throat is choked on the whole he is a patriotic gentleman next question comment on the appropriateness of the title the last lesson answer the story has an appropriate and suggestive title it is the center of attention throughout and the whole story revolves around it the beginning of the story serves as preparation for it the unusual quietness at his school presence of blaze elders and the teacher in his sunday vest dress all point out to the unusual and unique occasion the last lesson in french in a french village school in a district conquered by prussians while delivering the last lesson the teacher wants to transmit all his knowledge on one go he explains everything with with patience and the students as well the old villagers listen patiently for the narrator it is an unforgettable experience ah how well i remember it the last lesson says he old hauser is crying and his voice trembled with emotion as the teacher is unable to express his emotions because of choked thought he ends the lesson by waiting be bla friends on the blackboard he makes a gesture with his hand to indicate that the school is dismissed and students can go home that's the contents thank you